Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. This is an interesting question that appeared in a comic strip. A man has 20 coins, consisting of dimes and quarters. A dime is a currency that is equal to 10 cents, and a quarter is a currency that's equal to 25 cents. If the dimes were quarters and the quarters were dimes, he would have 90 cents more than he has now. How many dimes and quarters does he have? This is adapted from a Peanuts comic strip, and I thank Brandon for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. I will first present a numerical solution. So we've opened up a spreadsheet and I've copied over the problem so we have all the information. We'll start out by writing a column with the total number of coins. This is equal to 20. Then we have the number of dimes and the number of quarters. So let's just say the number of dimes will start out at zero. We're going to increase this for all the possible cases. The number of quarters will be equal to the total number of coins minus the number of dimes. We also want to see how much money does the person have initially. So the amount of money in cents will be equal to 10 times the number of dimes plus 25 times the number of quarters. So 20 quarters times 25 will be equal to 500 cents. Now what happens in the swap case? That is, when the dimes were quarters and the quarters were dimes. So the new number of dimes and the new number of quarters will be equal to the swap of the original. So the new number of dimes will be equal to the old number of quarters and the new number of quarters will be equal to the old number of dimes. The amount of money in this case will be the same exact equation. So we can just copy this formula over. It'll be equal to the number of dimes times 10 plus the number of quarters times 25. We can just go ahead and make sure the formula copied correctly. Now we want to know the difference between the new amount of money and the old amount of money. So we take the new amount of money and we subtract out the old amount of money. Right now, this is negative 300 because the person has 300 cents less than initial. Now each time the total number of coins will be equal to 20. The number of dimes we can increase. This will go between 0 and 20. So we'll take this and we'll add 1. Then all the remaining formulas will copy. The number of quarters will be equal to the total minus the number of dimes. Then all the other formulas will calculate correctly. So there we go. So we need to consider all possible cases. The number of dimes can be a whole number from 0 to 20. So we'll just patiently copy down all of the different possibilities. Now we need to see where the difference is exactly equal to 90 cents. So in this case, we look at this row. This means that the person had 13 dimes and seven quarters to begin with. And that's the way you can solve it numerically. Now I just wanna illustrate one more method. Let's say you didn't wanna put all of these rows out. We had just set up this formula in the first row. You can also solve it using the goal seek function. So go to data, what if analysis, and goal seek. Now we want to make the difference equal to plus 90 and we will change the number of dimes. So we go ahead and say, go ahead and do this. Let's see what you can get. It's gonna calculate some value and it will give us the solution. So we get 13 dimes and seven quarters. Now let's solve the problem algebraically step by step. A man has 20 coins consisting of dimes and quarters. Let D be a variable to represent the number of dimes, and Q be a variable to represent the number of quarters. 
This sentence translates into the equation D plus Q is equal to 20. How much money does the man have in cents? Each dime is worth 10 cents and each quarter is worth 25 cents. So the amount of money the man starts with is 10 times D plus 25 times Q. If the dimes were quarters and the quarters were dimes, he would have 90 cents more than he has now. So how much money would he have if dimes were quarters and quarters were dimes? We need to exchange the variables D and Q so that we get the amount of money he would have. So this will be equal to 10Q plus 25D. Now we need to take this amount of money and subtract the original amount of money. We get a resulting equation. So 10Q minus 25Q will be equal to negative 15Q. Then 25D minus 10D is equal to plus 15D. The difference in money will be equal to 90 cents more. So this is equal to 90 cents as a positive number. So we just need to solve for the variables D and Q. So we now have two equations in two variables. To simplify this, we'll take the second equation and divide both sides of the equation by 15. So we get negative Q plus D. Now we need to divide 90 by 15. So the way I think about it is I count up. So I go 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, and 90. So that's six times. So 90 divided by 15 is six. So we get negative Q plus D is equal to six. We can now take this equation and compare it to the first equation. Well, we've ended up in a lucky situation. We have a plus Q here and a negative Q here. So if we add the two equations, we will eliminate the Q variable. So we end up with 2D is equal to 26. Dividing through by 2 means that D is equal to 13. Now the number of dimes plus the number of quarters is equal to 20. So 13 plus Q is equal to 20. And that means the number of quarters is equal to 7. So the man has 13 dimes and 7 quarters. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.